borough of Holidaysburg was first laid out in 1796 and was named after Adam and William Holliday, Irish immigrants who founded the settlement. By 1814, it consisted of several houses and a tavern. From 1834 to 1854, the borough was an important port of Pennsylvania Mainline Canal, where the Juniata Division Canal connected to the Allegheny Portage Railroad. Holidaysburg is known for its historical significance. With that comes widespread tales of ghosts and hauntings. Today we are going to visit three historic hot spots that are also known to be haunted. The historic U.S. Hotel has been a part of Holidaysburg since its initial conception in 1835. Built by John Doherty, the building was initially used to accommodate westward travelers with lodging, food, and spirits. Strategically positioned along the western end of the Pennsylvania Canal and the Allegheny Portage Railroad. Ghost hunters from all over the country have investigated the entire hotel, interviewing customers and the owners to dig deep into the history while attempting to establish a reason why ghosts would inhabit the hotel. There are so many reports of ghost sightings that it would take a full documentary in itself to report them all. Other than some orbs, I did not personally see or hear anything out of the ordinary when I was there. Though I wasn't there for paranormal research, I did take a full walk through, but it was during the day. Right down the street from the U.S. Hotel, in 1830 a small group of Methodists began meeting at a local schoolhouse. But as their congregation grew, they decided to build a wooden church that seated 300. It was later in 1852, replaced by a brick building until 1879 when two blocks of downtown Holidaysburg burnt down and this church was built. The building served as the church for 97 years until a new one was built in town. It was then converted into a print shop called OK Stucky and Son. It has been abandoned ever since. The large monument marks the spot where the three teenage members of the Holiday family were killed. The British had a bounty on the settlers that were coming into this area, so the Indians were very anxious to satisfy them. They would give the bounty to the Indians for the settlers, and it didn't matter what the ages were. It didn't matter whether they were male or female. The Holiday family were war heroes. They fought in the Revolutionary War. Here they lay in this cemetery. This cemetery holds significance not only for local history, but for American history and should never be forgotten.